Let's talk about the three big theorems that you're going to need to know for AP Calculus AB. The first theorem that you're going to need to know is the intermediate value theorem, the second is the extreme value theorem, and the last one is the mean value theorem. So let's start by looking at the intermediate value theorem. This theorem states that on a continuous closed interval, this must be a condition that is met, it must be continuous. All we're saying is that all the function values in between the two function values of the endpoints must exist, must be hit. So if it goes from one to three, every number, possible number between one and three real numbers must be hit. Very intuitive. Now the extreme value theorem, the second theorem here, states that essentially on the same conditions that are met, continuous on the closed interval, well f will take at least an absolute minimum and an absolute maximum. It must have one of these. And of course, the endpoints themselves can actually be maximums and minimums. So very intuitive. And certainly you can understand this theorem really quickly, but the one you're going to have to know the most is the mean value theorem. This is the one that will be tested more frequently. Essentially, take a function on a continuous closed interval and a differentiable open interval. Then we're saying that the MVT says that the derivative and average rate of change are equal to each other at, at least one point on this interval. So for problems here, we can try to solve for this point given a function and an interval such as x squared on the interval from 2 to 4. We want to see where the derivative and the average rate of change are the same on this interval. So take the formula of f of b minus f of a over b minus a b will be 4 a will be 2 find the function values respectively we know that 16 minus 4 over 4 minus 2 is what we're going to get and 6 is our average rate of change take our derivative of the function which is just 2x by the power rule set it equal to 6 the average rate of change and we will solve for the x or c the value of three as our answer. Now, visually, you can see that at the point x equals three or c equals three, indeed, the average rate of change and the slope of the tangent line are the same.